Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. So today we've got the start of Uncharted Seas and even with my guide a lot of people are confused so I wanted to go over what you do right when you land. Um, one of the very first things that you should do is you port in here and then you have um, one of your R4s or it might have to be your R5. Place your Alliance Fortress and place it next to a bridge. So find a bridge and place your fortress next to it so that you can start constructing your fortress. Uh, and then there's gonna be chapter quests that you wanna complete and you wanna do those as, as quickly as you can uh, to get through the first couple of stages and start progressing, start getting things going. Um, the next thing that's very, very important, one of the first things you should do, start your research. So start getting your research going and the one down here where your research level is that one you want to increase as quickly as you can. So start level one right away, um, or start going from level one to level two right away. Speed it, because they give you like 25 speed up, so just instantly finish that one. Uh, kill one threat and port in. You'll complete chapter quest level one, you'll get 20,000 free um, supplies, and then you can start research level two to three, or level three to four. So just speed the research, get it done, that's important. Uh, as soon as you're done with that, you're gonna click this season board up here, this Alliance Development. You wanna click that. You're gonna scroll down to Alliance Research. and You wanna donate to your Alliance Research. Have one of your R4s turn on the bonus rewards for this. Um, using this little slider up here. Oh, my thing is gone. See the bonus rewards going on and off? You wanna turn that on. Uh, and then tell everybody to donate. As soon as they get done with starting some research, they want to donate to the Alliance um, research to get that going. Um, one of the other kind of important things, um, gathering you get points, killing pirates you get points, um, instant gather does work. So that's something that uh, I tested, it does work. So that'll get you a bunch of uh, the points from gathering this task number one of chapter three that's how I already have 213 because I instantly pulled four nodes um, what else so that's the initial part of the like do all this stuff quick and now we can relax so we've got five days on the first bridge but this is where things start getting interesting there are landmarks inside of your own zone and you're gonna to wanna to build towards a landmark. So it looks like over here, we've got a farm alliance going towards this, but that's not gonna happen for me. So I'm gonna to build towards this, one of these landmarks. Um, actually, since we're down here, we'll probably build towards this one first. Uh, and if we have enough time, we'll link to this one and build towards the next. But I'm not letting farm alliances have it. It's going to be one of the two main alliances that's getting all of the outposts and things like that. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to kill other people. That's just how it is. We gave them the option to join one of our two alliances. If they don't want to join it, they're going to get killed. We're, we're not going to deal with this uh, greed and farm alliance and that stuff trying to take outposts and the buffs that we need for main alliances. Okay. So now that all that's out of the way, let's relax and let me show you some of the new features. Down here, you'll notice there's a new tab. Once you load in, it's called Develop. So when you click that, it's got the pet option. And here's your first two pets. So we've got Captain Capuchin, which is a capuchin monkey. He's got a little eye patch and a gun, super cute. Um, he There's a little Easter egg down here, so he likes to be called Captain, uh, since he's a well-seasoned traveler. And then looking at his, how do you unlock him? You need 100 shards to unlock him, uh, and that'll unlock him at one star, and then he'll increase as you go. You're going to get extra march capacity um, for leveling him up. Now his abilities, Captain Capuchin is your battle pet. This is the one you want to send to battle with you. So when you click his first ability, um, when you send him against pirates, he's going to increase your damage dealt to pirates by 14.8%. The second level ability is going to increase your troop health by 270%. Third ability, this is why he is the P 
PvP pet because he increases your troop damage by 2.6%. And troop damage is huge. Small amounts of troop damage make a huge difference in battles. Uh, this one increases your troop attack. And then his final ability... Um, let's see. He becomes unpredictably dangerous when he drinks. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's just for fun or if he actually gets like an attack ability, um, you know, but <laughs> when when he drinks, he gets angry. So angry monkey when he's drinking. So that's, that's hilarious. Um, the second pet is Lucky. Uh, Lucky is the one that it looks like it's giving us Lucky shards for completing a lot of the, the quests. Lucky is going to be your pet for PvE stuff. Um, he's going to increase your, your excavation speed. Um, he's increasing your troop defense as well, but then he's increasing uh, food gathering speed, uh, and he's increasing your troop attack again. And look at this ability. <laughs> it's uh, a curse word, which is funny. So it's a cursing pirate bird that um, he likes to increase your troop attack by cursing at you. And he calls you an idiot, and he says abandon ship. And his little Easter egg up here is that... Um, he gets his name for being able to predict the future for a golden coin, and his favorite catchphrase is abandoned ship. And those who didn't listen are no longer with us. So those are the first two pets in the game. Um, looking forward to unlocking them. Now let's go into the Uncharted Seas button. When you click in here, there's a lot of stuff in here, but there's some new things. First, we'll look at the solo points. When you click the solo points, if I can click it, you can click this and there's a rewards overview and you can see the rewards that you're going to get as you increase your solo points and it goes all the way up to 80,000 solo points and there's tiered rewards all along the way lots of pet um, pet food lucky shards um, there's pet skill scrolls so I'm guessing that's how you level up the skills um, scholar scrolls troop skills lots of decent stuff in here so Continue to gain your solo points and contribute to your alliance, and you'll gain rewards in here. Now, one of the other things that's not active yet, when you click the honor shop, it's not active until you expand the past the first bridge, which is next week. But the other thing that I found is a little, a little helpful thing is down here, this little pirate wheel. When you click that, it pulls up a new menu that lets you see everything. So first you can click this reward summary and it's going to show you the rewards for the entire event. So looking here, um, if you, to get the Sea Conqueror packs up here, um, if your alliance simultaneously occupies the Devil's Keep and Three Harbors, it doesn't say for how long, it just says that if you've occupied that plus Three Harbors at the same time, you're going to unlock these rewards. Um, and then for every harbor, military harbor or pirate harbor, you're going to gain an extra five of these advanced conquer chests. And these chests are good. Look at this, look at this chest here. It has a level seven gear in it, aristocrat badges, marquee badges, a frame and victory metal chests. The level two chest has level six gears. Uh, same thing, less badges, but less chests, etc. Um, and then this one still has six gears, a little bit less. You get 25 of these that have 10 marquee badges, the level five gears, and 100 of the badges. Now, it doesn't say how this is going to be assigned, and if you can assign more than one. Um, I imagine that alliances are going to be combined into, into mega alliances here, so obviously if you're only getting you know, 45 chests, it's not enough. So you're going to want to occupy a bunch of harbors to end up with 65 or 70 chests so that everybody can hopefully get something. Uh, the next thing is there's this glorious history. And this is important. So you've recognized this format, right? This is just like um, Musketeer Legends or whatever it's called. I, I can't remember. But basically, in the first 24 hours, we need to kill 2,500 threats, and everybody's going to get 100 gold, 15 recruitment banners, and some basic recruitment banners. Now, 
The second one, Conquering Outposts, occupy four pirate out outposts by your kingdom when the stage finishes. So, I'm guessing that this is going to unlock after the 24 hours is up. And the pirate outposts unlock after the 24 hours is up. So, it's a pretty good assumption. So, as long as your kingdom, it's, it's your kingdom, not your alliance... As long as your kingdom takes all of the pirate outposts in your area, you're going to unlock more recruitment banners. And then your alliance owning 60 towers for day three is going to get you some more stuff, you know, etc., etc., etc. as you go. Um, so you're going to get a bunch of recruitment banners and gold along the way. As long as your kingdom is paying attention to these goals um, and getting things done. The hard one is going to be getting people to kill 2,500 threats in 24 hours. So... Uh, making sure that my kingdom knows about that and trying to spread the word. Nope, oh, let me go back in. So we weren't done. Next thing in here is this achievement section. So in this solo achievement section, you're going to notice that there's more lucky shards and the uh, pet scrolls for lucky. So increasing your solo research to 10 to 12, conducting research 130 times, 260 times, gaining 800,000 honor, um, gaining 2 million honor, defeating a bunch of pirates, 12 pirates, 15 pirates will unlock more lucky shards. Alliance achievements. Um, look at this, 70 badges for the top one. Your alliance is occupying one pirate harbor or military military harbor when the stage um, starts when the result stage starts so I think that's the results are at the end so if you're uh, maintaining these things you're going to gain this now look at this one your alliance occupying devil's keep when the results stage starts so you want to make room for all of your main players your fighters inside of the main alliance if you win and you're holding devil's keep at the end because that's going to get you 20 of the Captain Capuchin shards for everybody in the alliance, which is fantastic. Um, and it looks like all of these alliance achievements are for having things held at the end. So the more harbors you hold, you're going to want three local harbors. That's 30 shards. You're going to want Devil's Keep. That's another 20. Um, all the ones for aristocrat badges are, you know, kind of whatever. But then there's kingdom achievements as well for a little bit of gold. So, you know, an alliance from your kingdom occupying one pirate harbor or military harbor when the result stage starts, it's like, these are kind of like the consolation prizes. It's a little bit of gold for everybody as long as you try and get these things done. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. And then finally, the leaderboards. So, I'm in rank 37, and that's because I'm not killing a whole bunch of threats right now because I came in without a bunch of, without much stamina. So, I'm just gathering, and once the gathering's done, I'll probably kill some extra threats. But when I first got in here, I was much higher on the leaderboard. Solo honor is not unlocked yet. But then, looking at this, level 10 pirates, first kill. So... Kingdom 528 definitely got in here and wanted to get on this leaderboard. And, oh man. Look at that. 150 shards for rank 1 through 10. That's crazy. Okay, I need to get that done like ASAP. Like, right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I definitely want to get on those leaderboards. So... Um, we're going to do that right now, and anybody who hasn't noticed that yet, sorry. Um, you'll see it in the video, but it might be too late by the time that you see it. Um, and hopefully I'm strong enough, but we're going to do what we can to try and get this kill, like, now. Um, and we'll do this live, and hopefully I can kill it. But previously I hadn't been able to kill early on. I hadn't been able to kill the, um, the big threats. So we'll see kind of what happens, but hopefully I'm strong enough now to actually get it done. I'm going to like fully buff up here. March cap. Let's get two hours. Um, let's go into war spec. People are spamming. Um, 
But yeah, we gotta get this threat done like ASAP. Gosh, the spamming. Hopefully I can actually kill these. Um, I've started my research, I've been doing stuff. I've got decent stats. Uh, even if I, oh, I've already lost. So how the heck did they get level 10 threats already? Like, is there a spot where you can buy speed ups or, you know, like there's 55, but where else can I get more of these? Oh yeah, you can buy them. Okay, that's how they're doing it. They're speeding through the research to get it on that leaderboard, which is 100% worth it. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that. Um, doing it live, we're gonna try and speed through this research, and I'm gonna spend whatever money I need to get on to get on that leaderboard. Um, okay, and then I may cut this, but you know, you guys can see the process. Uh, I don't know what else I actually have to show right now, other than realizing that these leaderboards are actually really good. Um, Alliance point, point board, Kingdom points board, Solo points board. Yeah, there's good rewards for all of these leaderboards, so pay attention to that. And let's see if we can get that going, see if we can kill that now that I've um, got that done. Okay, what else do I need to do here? I need to keep speeding some stuff up. I need to get to level 6 research. I'm going to have to figure out how, m where those packs are so that I can see how much I need to spend. Um, okay, well, it should be in like research or something, right? But there's no just research, it's not called research. Speed up bundles. Um, not seeing an event, maybe it's an event bundles, not an event bundles, building, not in building bundles. I don't know, I don't know where it is, but I'm stuck right here because I don't have enough of the supplies, and how do I get more supplies other than speeding through research? It says it's going already. That's a, that's a bug that they had during the um, the test server where it says that a research isn't going even though it is. So you, I can't get in there to speed it. And it lets me try and do another one. Okay. Um, well, I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. And if I find any more little tips, Easter eggs, things like that, I'll try and share them.